<laughs> yeah, so, okay, so I went uh, to lunch at uh, Miku with uh, Mikel and Dylan, and uh, they wanted to go to do a little shopping in Gastown, so we did that, and I'd split off to go to uh, Parade Organics Baby Store. Shout out to that store. Cool. Uh, so I was walking back uh, in Gastown and had my baby stuff in my right hand and saw this suspicious guy just kind of like shuffling down the sidewalk and he had a bike with him. So I found it kind of strange. He was just like shuffling around with his bike and I'm um, just like looking over at him. I just hear this huge, well, see him and hear this huge bang. And I just hear this like blue Chevy Impala, the passenger side window just shatters. And I like look over and kind of yelled like, hey. And then uh, I see him like wrestling this big hiking backpack out of the front. Can't quite get it out. And I yelled at him from across the street, and I was like, put the bag down, bro. And he was just, like, yelling and swearing at me, telling me to go away and stuff. You know, I started trotting across the street, and I was just like, dude, like, put the bag down. Yelled at me again, swearing at me again, telling me to half off and go away. And uh, at this point, I started running towards him because I knew he was going to take the bag. So I was like, all right, dude, last chance, put the bag down. And, uh, again, he said the same things to me over and over. So I started running towards him and he got on his bike, threw the bag on, and he took like, I don't know, like five, or like three hard pedals towards me thinking, I don't know if you thought I was just gonna ram me or if I was gonna jump out of the way. Um, and I had my baby stuff in my right hand, so with my left arm, I just kind of like reflexively, like I'll clear the air, I didn't like, like, you know, my first thought was if I absolutely destroy this guy and he gets hurt, like what are the legal ramifications for me here? Cause I could have done some damage. So I was like, try to do this as gently as I can so I just like kind of hooked my left arm and sort of like under his arm and like pulled him off the bike to the ground and like that was the same arm that had the bag so I had like his arm and the bag on my left left arm I think and uh he was like down kind of like trying to get away from me swearing at me and I was just ready like kind of like waiting if it can't be pulled something sharp I was gonna drop my baby supplies and crack him one but uh he just kind of like got his bike and went away and again I didn't really know like what to the rules of engagement, so to speak, were like whether I could pin him down or, you know, like how hard I could hit him. So I was like, I'm just going to make sure I don't like physically hurt this guy, but get the bag back. And the cops kind of had a good chuckle about that with me after. And I called them and just waited by the car because there was a bunch of snowboards in there and, and other stuff. And the cops uh, were like, yeah, you know, took my statement and said uh, they'd try to contact whoever it was. So they opened the bag up and first thing they found was a couple of passports. So uh, right place at the right time. Sounds like your moral cop instincts right in then. Is that, is I mean, I, honestly, I was thankful I was there. Like, there was a bunch of people around, but I think some people in that situation probably aren't, you know, sure to react or confident in their own physical abilities. And I was, you know, me mediocre fighter on the ice, but I'm very confident handling myself off the ice. So uh, I wasn't too worried about anything that would happen there. So I figured uh, that was just the right place at the right time.